Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can easily use Time Doctor 2. Also, in this video I'm going to show you how we can use Time Doctor 2 extension and that's pretty much it. So the first thing you want to do is just simply click here and download Doctor 2 for Windows or if you have Mac just download it for Mac. Now when you got it, you're gonna have like installation and you want to install it. So I'm going to install it. If you want, you can skip the video, but this is going to be fast. And let's just wait. Okay, start Time Doctor 2 now. So, and here we got it. Get started. Okay. I will just create an account here. And now select how to try it out. Test it myself. My name. I'll just add here the email okay we can save the set up your account to get started let's tweak some settings you're liking screenshot features screenshot of your employees monitors are taken in whatever time interval you specify so this is what I don't recommend to do because uh, I don't really like micromanaging. And if someone wants to go to the Facebook, let him go to the Facebook. But he wants to get the things done. The worst thing you can do for your employees is to micromanage them. So I'm not going to enable that. Task feature. Would you like to have employees track them to preset tasks that you create? Yes. And edit time feature. We are going to enable. Would you like employees to be able to manually edit their work time? And payroll feature. Calculate the amounts owed to your employees based on their hours worked. Yes, next. Do you want employees to track time on tasks from other apps? Yes. How many we invite one to three employees? How many want to invite? I don't have a team, but you can invite if you want to. Now, it's going to load. While it's going to do that, I'm going to log in to my time doctor. Right here. And voila, here we are. Oh, it's loading. So right now, while it's working, I'm going to make my Time Doctor 2 bigger. And okay, hi. To start working, click on the task. So you can go like with emails or meeting or other work, and it will start automatically recording time. I can press like pause and now I have a general work here. I can go here to dashboard and it's going to load. It's really fascinating to me. Why is loading, but who knows? But yeah, you have a dashboard here. You can edit time here. Oh, here we are. Yeah, I had uh, the. It's because of the U block. So we see it here dashboard on left top with the team and user. Then we have report system here as active summary, hours tracked, projects and tasks. And I have like general work here. And when you click here on add projects and tasks in settings, you can simply add a new project. So let's name it YouTube. And now, okay, to YouTube, I can simply add a task. And I'm going to add a task, YouTube video. And voila, when I would come here, I can simply go to YouTube and YouTube video, and it's going to start automatically working on it. Then what you can do is to go to settings and you can set some settings right here in your time doctor, but that is like not really necessary. And yeah, so in time doctor two, you can do it through the app on your PC and it's directly connected to the to your time doctor here. You can have reports, you can have active summary here, like, okay. 
how many hours you were working then you can see the projects and tasks that we got like youtube and journal work timeline and okay when were people working on it so if you're gonna have a team here you can see clearly what they were working on and then you get like web and app usage like what was used most and then you can like custom export here now again you can see the times here and you can edit it what were you working for and what was the timeline details then as i mentioned settings you can have billing here this is important so you need to uh, change the price so billing details using company price you can add a card here productivity rating projects and tasks groups integrations you can integrate applications here if you want to then you have payroll here and you see it here so total time currency adjustment pay rate you can edit that to go 50 you can add total time manual time how much money it was and yep yeah, this is like pretty pretty much and you can also change the currency here and everything so you can have also all users here on the top left and you can change the top right data range now you can invite and you can also download on the top right you can edit the profile or you can edit the company and also enable two factor if you want to and right here in settings in company settings just go through the whole setup your account that is my recommendation you can go and change the company details enable payroll then you're going to see configuration here use project task in the company yes blur screenshots only for certain people who can access payroll and you can also add someone there but if you're a bo boss you don't have to like allow it then you're going to see permissions here billing who can access billing again you can choose that and you can also remove query parameters and that's pretty much it so now let me show you how we can easily use it on extension so i'm going to add the extension to chrome and right here i got it so i'm going to pin it time doctor click on it and voila here we got it so youtube video i can simply pause it but again if i got it here see it works flawlessly and voila here i got it so it's active i can simply stop it if i want to <clears throat> so that's it now when we go back to my company i can again edit time go to project and tasks and i can edit the task and that's pretty much it so this is how we can use time doctor 2 it's a little bit clumsy at first but i recommend going with a step-by-step -step with a setup your account and you will get it in no time so thank you very much everybody for watching if you have any questions guys ask me down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye see ya